Hey everyone, this is Greg from AI Light Show. In this video, I'm going to show you finer control options when limiting the range of movement of your moving heads. If you did not watch the other video where I show you how to do this at a global scale, in other words, limiting the pan and tilt range of movements of all of your moving heads at the same time, I highly suggest you watch that first. Now, under the moving head test feature, the Force 1.0, you'll notice a left and a right arrow. If I use the right arrow here, I can scroll through all of my moving heads one at a time. And what I could do is select either one of these at will and start limiting the range of movement independently. That was my last Intimidator Spot 360 and you'll notice now I have no fixtures highlighted. You'll notice I have a symmetrical layout of moving heads, which I know many DJs tend to do in their lighting rig setups. So I'm gonna show you how I prefer to do the settings here. So what I'm gonna do is scroll over to one of my Intimidator Spot 360s, which I have two of. They're symmetrically laid out, each on a totem stand. I'm going to select this first one. He is now selected. And what I like to do is invert one of the fixture pairs. So in other words, I'm going to invert one of the Intimidator Spot 360s. And I do this because I wanna make sure when the Force 1.0 attempts to mirror image pairs of moving heads, everything is set up appropriately. Now the effect algorithms will not always attempt to mirror image all fixtures, but you can guarantee it will be done appropriately if taking this approach. So I will select pan, I will hit the invert button. I will select tilt, I will hit the invert button. Now this moving head is inverted. What I can do now is scroll over to my other Intimidator Spot 360. He's now highlighted, I can select him as well. He is now selected. Now what I can do is go through tilt and pan and start limiting the range of movement. So what I like to do, just as the last video, I like to go up to 255 first, and I like to scroll him down until I hit one of the limiting ranges that I am happy with. In this case, right around, say, there. And what I like to do now is set the min to roughly about the same value as my max to start out with which is close enough, and then start scrolling him down until I get to a point where I'm happy, and this is gonna be just about zero. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now if I go into pan, I can do the exact same approach. I can set max to 255. I'll start scaling him down until I get to one range limit that I'm happy with. This is right around it, a little bit too much. Let's keep going, right about there. And I like to set the min to the same value as my max to start out with, so I have a starting point. All right, so right around there, and I like to scroll him down until I get to the other range limitation that I'm happy with. And this also gives you an opportunity to see how they would look when they are, in fact, being mirror image. All right, so right around there, I'm satisfied with, and I am done. So now you can either go through each Intimidator Spot 361 at a time and deselect them, like I did there, so now he's deselected. I can scroll over to the other one, which you'll notice he's selected when he starts to blink and deselect him, and they are now done. Another trick you can do is just hit the global select option, which will highlight all of your fixtures, hit it one more time, and now every single one is deselected. All right, and now what I can do is scroll over to my other pair and do the exact same approach. So this is one method to set up the pan and tilt limited range of movements of pairs of moving heads.